everyone, it's Emma here. Let's see what's making news. Socceroos fans, you already know what's making news. We're going to the World Cup. Woo! Celebrations have been going on since early this morning and here's Joe to fill you in with all the details. Go Socceroos! You okay, Joe? Socceroos! The Socceroos have won! The Socceroos have won! <laughs> Although a little sleep deprived, Socceroos fans are ecstatic. Because, well, they're off to the World Cup. Let's go, Australia! <laughs> it's super exciting because many people thought it wouldn't happen. The Socceroos missed out on an automatic qualification when they lost to Japan back in March, and everything was riding on their match against Peru this morning. After 120 goalless minutes, it all came down to a penalty shootout. And that's where the Socceroos goalie, Andrew Redmayne, put on quite a show, earning himself the nickname of the Grey Wiggle. And saving the match-deciding goal. It's a save that means the world to Australia. How uh, good is this? <laughs> We never give in, we never doubt the team, we always support the boys and that's what can happen. Absolute magic on the field there. I don't think I'm going to talk for the next week until the next game. My, my voice is completely gone, yeah. No one thought that we could do this, but they, they kept believing and that's the most important thing. It'll be the fifth time in a row that they'll be making a World Cup appearance when they take to the field in November in Qatar. Uh, it's dark in here, hello. Oh, there we go. Yep, keeping the lights on on Australia's east coast is becoming a bit of a problem. Electricity suppliers have warned there could be blackouts tonight. Although if you're watching this, I guess that's a good sign. They say the problem has been caused by the chilly weather and the fact that some coal power stations aren't working at the moment. How's my skating, guys? Not to brag, but I just had some lessons from a world champ. Her name's Ivy and she just got back from Italy where she won the mini division in the Artistic Skating World Cup. Check it out. Hey Ivy, how are you? Hi. So can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm nine years old and I've been skating ever since I was two years old. You just came back from Italy competing in the World Cup. Can you tell me about that? Well, first of all, going to Italy was very nerve wracking. <laughs> I just went out there, did my best, and came home with a gold trophy. Not just a gold trophy, you were the best in the world, weren't you? Yes. And I was actually wondering if we can head on there and you can teach me a few tricks. How does that sound? Sure. So you had to lift your knees up. <laughs> These are called marching steps? Yes. <laughs> Have you got like any like cool moves that you like to pull out, like stuff that... Well... I like to do my Bjorman. Ooh, what's that? It's where I spin with my leg over here. Oh, wait, over what's it called? Head. It's called a Bjorman. It's like, you spin like this. Oh my, sh should I try that or should we just not? No. Okay, okay yeah. <laughs> probably a good idea. Oh you're, my. you're a beginner. I'm a beginner. <laughs> Ivy, watch out. I'm going to come for your World Cup title. <laughs> I'm going to overlap you. No, impossible. <laughs> Oh, easy, Truffle. Grab your hats and run, Boots Cowboys and Cowgirls, because next up, we've got a roundup of some of the wildest stories from around the world. <laughs> yee To kick us off, I've rounded up a roundup. A record 10,000 people visited Casterton, Victoria for the Australian Kelpie Muster. That's a lot of Kelpies. The dogs compete in different events, and there's a Kelpie auction, and even celebrity appearances. Well, Kelpie celebrities, who got very popular after featuring in ABC's Mustard Dog series earlier this year. It's not just getting wild, it's also getting very, very muddy. Introducing Hungary's Babod Off-Road Festival, the biggest in Europe. 30,000 people came to see car fanatics and mud fanatics too, trail their way through tough and sticky terrain. Now, it doesn't really get more wild than this, or this. Great outfit too. This is something you definitely should not try at home because these guys are some of the world's best and most experienced free runners. And they all met here in Greece to show off their best moves. Well, it looks like it's time for me and Truffle to ride off into the sunset. See you later. 